I would like to talk about various topics in our time together. Um, one in particular topic that was dear to me that a lot of people are affected by, and that is the fact um, people experiencing grief and loss. You know, when you have a medical condition such as a stroke, you know, something serious like that, you're going to grieve the loss, obviously, of the way you used to be prior to the stroke. You're going to grieve the loss of probably not being as social as not having your, um, your full cognitive faculties in place, uh, maybe not even having the use of your, your, um, your limbs, your arms, your legs, you know, where the stroke may have affected. And so a lot of times things that are associated with such a loss could also cause what we call comorbidity, and that is additional mental health problems can develop, such as depression, such as anxiety, um, and of course, grief and loss. And sometimes people think that in order to grieve, you have to lose someone. Someone has to pass away, but not necessarily so. You can grieve the loss of a life that you used to live. You can grieve the loss of social uh, relationships that you used to have. Because sometimes people you know, may not accept you for who you are as a result of something happening to you. And obviously, that can, of course, lead to things such as depression. You know, so, but grief and loss can come in, in many forms, and we can talk definitely about some of the things that are involved in that, and also how to overcome that, how to, you know, get through that, those difficult transitions in life. And so being able to also talk about depression and how that looks and, and what are some of the um, symptoms associated with that. And, and then along with depression, um, anxiety is also very common. And anxiety um, can manifest itself in many ways. Many people that I know that I work with over the years, and I have been practicing psychotherapy for about 15 years now, they struggle with having both anxiety and depression. And those are often um, as a result of a medical condition that could happen. So like, for example, with anxiety, you can have certain fears about going out in public because maybe, the, you know, not being able to walk, you know, well because of a stroke or, or maybe because of uh, the way your face appears or the way you speak, my, you know, speech. The one thing about my husband is that even though his speech has been affected by his stroke, he, he's still very social and he always still tries to communicate with people. And sometimes it, it, it does require a lot of people, a lot of people to be patient with him as he's trying to express himself and, and for my husband to be patient as he's trying to communicate also with others. But for some, you know, they, they may have great fears that because they can't communicate very well, they may have social anxiety as a result and not wanting to go out, not wanting to talk to people because of the effects of the stroke you know, that prohibits them from having adequate speech. So anyways, there are various things that can happen as a result of having the stroke. A lot of mental disabilities or mental problems can develop. And so we can talk about the various things that come up and the social implications and whatnot as we are in this journey together to um, overcome and um, provide support for caregivers who have people in their lives who have suffered a stroke.